Hello all, welcome to my channel. This is Sumanth and in this video, we will discuss about how to run a mocker test with different input parameters. For explaining this concept, so I have created a test file in my project folder, standard test, and uh, I've created a describe, test suit, and a couple of tests. So these are very basic tests. First test talks about addition, verified addition. So where we are equating three plus five to eight. And in the second test, we are verifying five minus six is minus one. So this will return true. Let me run and show you. Mocha test slash test dot js. So both my test case passed. Let's say if I want to execute this particular test with multiple test data sets, then I have to create one more it and then say maybe test addition two and add five plus six equal to 11. If I need to verify uh, this particular function for few more or data sets, right? I need to create few more it. Uh, but this would become very tedious if we have large sets of data to verify, right? To handle such scenarios in Mocha, Mocha didn't provide us any default or predefined methods, but we can follow an approach where we use only one it statement, but run this it statement with different inputs. Now let's see how to do it. Let's create an uh, object array called add values and this is an array of objects and in the first object i'll say value one colon 10 comma value two colon 20 comma output colon 30. now what i'll do is i already knew this is an array of object right so I'll say add value start for each. So for each uh, object that is present in this array, I'll pass that object to a callback function. And then for each object, I'll execute this particular it. Now we can't use three plus five directly here. Instead we'll use data comma value one and then data comma value two and then data dot output. Now let me try and run this. Both my test cases passed. Now, if I want to add more inputs, I don't want, I don't have to copy this it and create one more it. So instead, I'll add one more array object here. Let's say five and six, which is equal to 11. Let me run it. So if you look at it, there are two verify addition test ran and one verify subtraction test ran. Now, both these tests, right, uh, are having same name. If we want to change their name, we can pass uh, one more attribute here saying the appending test name, or we can use the same values. So verify addition for data dot value one. and data dot value two. Now let me add a concatenation operator. Now let me run this test. Now if you look at this, so I'm getting a unique test name for both my scenarios. It is saying verify addition for 10 and 20, verify addition for five and six. Now if you want to execute even this test with different set of outputs, right? You can follow the same approach. You can create one more object here, or we can call it subtract values and then start adding it. Now, what about hooks? 
uh, can we add hooks here? Uh, let me show you what happens if we add it. After, let me add only after each function. So I'll not do any complicated, I'll, I'll not write any complicated code, uh, code here. I'll just say after each for this dot current test dot title. So I'll just log uh, the test name. That's it in the after each. Now let's try executing these tests. Now let me run the command. Now, if you look at this, right, the after each hook is executed twice, not just once after executing each and every hard uh, test uh, case. That's why we will not specify hooks here. Even if you add before each hook, right, it will be executed twice because we are uh, we have two values in this add values uh, of, uh, array, right? So that's why it is exe uh, executing twice. If we have four values, so this after each will be executed four times after executing this particular test. That's why we don't add the hooks inside the for each. We'll try keeping them outside. That is the other catch that you need to remember. This is how you execute a single mocha test with different sets of inputs. Hope you understood the concept now. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Meaning, let's say we have this test. So which is performing trim till here? 